Anyways, Joshua Bassett is concerning millions of fans on the internet for not only getting baptized at an anti-LGBTQ plus church, but for also getting brainwashed by conversion therapy. <laughs> This is going to be an intense one. As we all know, Joshua Bassett went through a lot back in 2021 with his relationships and career. And as a result of that, his career ended up boosting after he got targeted by millions of people worldwide. But the question is, how did the hate train towards him all start? Well, this goes way back to 2020 when Joshua's ex-girlfriend, Olivia Rodrigo, decided to drop a song called Driver's License, where she talked about being betrayed by Joshua and his new girlfriend, Sabrina Carpenter. After this song gained major success on social media, millions of people decided to tune into the drama and throw hate at both Sabrina and Joshua after they received tons of hate comments and death threats and started trending for days on Twitter. Unfortunately, this situation ended up getting very serious later on after Joshua got hospitalized for suffering from septic shock and heart failure. And well, this came two days after the song dropped when millions of people bullied him constantly for allegedly cheating on Olivia. Even though this was very heartbreaking, unfortunately, the fans felt no sympathy for Joshua at all after they started making memes on Twitter about him being hospitalized that received thousands of likes. And the worst part about it, you guys, is that the drama kept on going for two years, with Olivia dropping song after song to which she dropped an entire album months later. A year after this went down, both Sabrina and Joshua decided to keep their relationship away from the internet just to avoid the hate, in which they called it quits at the end of 2021. Throughout 2022, everything went perfect between Olivia and Joshua after they reunited at the premiere of High School Musicals and took pictures together on the red carpet. And y'all, even Olivia and Sabrina met at the Met Gala and were seen having conversations together as well. It was just surprising for fans to see how the love triangle chose peace with all the drama that was going around on social media. But Joshua had his own situation going on with him and his haters online after he got bullied for coming out as a member of the LGBTQ plus community. Yeah, guys, it all went down after Joshua went on an interview to talk about his love for the singer Harry Styles. And while he somehow hinted at his sexuality during the interview, after he caught himself revealing too much information about his feelings towards Harry Styles. Check this out. He kind of does it all, like acting, singing, fashion. And I think that he's just a nice guy who doesn't say too much, but when he talks, like it matters, does that make sense? He's just cool. Like, he's cool. Who doesn't think Harry Styles is cool? Also, he's hot, you know? Uh, he's very charming, too. Lots of things. I guess this is my, um, this is also my coming out video. After Joshua made this comment, he then went to GQ to interview and revealed that he's part of the LGBTQ plus community, but he's anti coming out. And y'all, he even posted a very emotional letter about toxic masculinity on his Instagram and how he was raised with the boys don't cry mentality. As much as Joshua was trying to be vulnerable, people found a way to throw hate at him again after they started questioning whether he had feelings for Olivia and Sabrina this entire time or not. You just know Sabrina and that girl with her driving license are punching the air right now. The girls did all that fighting for nothing. Goodbye. Joshua Bassett really got Olivia and Sabrina metaphoring him to death and he wants Harry Styles. I guess he didn't mean what he wrote in that song about her. Anyways, a year after this mess went down, Olivia, Sabrina, and Joshua's attention slowly began to fade after each of them went separate ways to focus on themselves and their career. However, one specific person that ended up sparking major concern this week was Joshua Bassett after he revealed that he recently got baptized at an anti-LGBTQ plus church. I get baptized. Uh, my name's Joshua, and long story short, I, uh, I grew up Christian, and I ran the other way as far as I could go in pursuit of truth, and that only ended in uh, addiction, depression, uh, suicidal ideation, eating disorders, etc., and no other teacher gave me anywhere near the peace that Jesus Christ did. That's right. Yeah, guys, this all started at the end of 2022 when Joshua made a tweet saying how he was struggling and how he's willing to seek help and be good to himself. Most people I know, including myself, are struggling right now. Please be good to yourselves and others, reach out to support those you love, and don't be afraid to ask for help. A couple of days later, Joshua started opening up about finding Jesus and his faith on social media, and he began sharing religious messages on his Twitter that ended up concerning many of his fans. Jesus Christ is the only way. His death and resurrection are historically documented. Turn away from hate, 
seek forgiveness and come to him. The gospel is good news for all willing to love and obey him who keeps your heart beating. For some reason, many fans found it weird and creepy how Joshua's mindset and personality completely changed based on those tweets, especially after he posted multiple Instagram stories seeking forgiveness from God. As much as people were concerned about him, Joshua did eventually respond to people's comments by saying that he's better than he's ever been and that he has encountered Jesus twice in his real life. A month after Joshua made these comments, he decided to post a video on Twitter this week sharing that he recently got baptized at a church called Bethel Church. And well, things went downhill from there. If you guys don't know Bethel Church, well, it's a well-known church in the US that has a long documented history of homophobia and transphobia, and it is often known for actively advocating for conversion therapy and encouraging people to leave homosexuality behind. This situation worried millions of fans worldwide after they thought that Joshua might have been brainwashed by this church through conversion therapy for being a member of the LGBTQ plus community. Joshua Bassett, a bi man, joining a church that actively supports conversion therapy is not good. Joshua Bassett going from normal teenage Disney actor to die hard evangelical Christian in the span of months is worrying. Okay, finding out the church he's at does conversion therapy, I am so serious, they literally brainwashed Joshua. Joshua Bassett. Joshua Bassett running to a mega church that supports conversion therapy to get saved ain't it, especially when you're on a show that features mostly an LGBTQ cast, members, and storylines. What a betrayal of LGBTQ friends and fans. After fans shared their comments on social media, Joshua took to Twitter to respond to people's questions and whether he supports them or not. And y'all just take a look at his answer. I visited this church and happened to get baptized there. I was unaware of some of their policies and beliefs and do not endorse all of them. My heart is for Christ and Christ alone. To be abundantly clear, I love all. If you are a human being, you have a seat at my table. We are called to love and let God do the rest. 1 John 2 9. Whoever says he is in the light and hates his brother is still in darkness. Joshua did end up deleting one tweet that he made where he called out the corruption that goes on within some of the churches in the US and how people must hold them accountable. It sickens and saddens me to see the amount of corruption within far too many churches. We must hold them all accountable and to the highest possible standard. Please do not mistake those who claim to know God for the true and perfect creator. We're still not sure whether Joshua was forced to delete this tweet or not, but let's just hope that he is taking care of himself and finds peace within himself.